doing, kids? We good? Happy? Happy? Good. Good. All right, and uh, Xavier was talking about eating stuff. Who here likes eating vegetables? Excellent. Oh, so many kids. Now, adults, are they telling the truth? I know these two are because I don't have the hands up. That's good. Okay. So this song, this song is all about a kid I went to school with who didn't like eating his vegetables. His name's Troy, so here we go. He'll be fine. Once upon a time there was a boy, and that boy's name was Troy. And he was always very happy, except when he had to eat his veggies, even though they'd make him strong, even though not eating vegetables is very, very wrong. You gotta eat your veggies, kids. Uh, No, you do, otherwise you get to my age, which is 39, and you have to play a small guitar to make yourself look bigger than you actually are. That's what's, that's what's happened there, yeah. And every dinner he would cry, and his mum would say, eat your tea, and he'd say, oh, but why? And she said, because it won't hurt. And if you don't eat your dinner, there won't be no dessert. Dessert that night was vanilla ice cream with chocolate topping, which is the best dessert. You can never have a bad one of that. And his mum said, all right, I'm gonna go and get a start on these dishes. But if I come in in five minutes and anything left on this table, you're gonna be in big trouble, Troy, you're gonna be in big trouble. So she left and he sat there and she said, she said anything on the table, not just on my plate. So he ate everything on his plate and then he ate the plate as well. And he ate the knife and the fork and he ate the wooden placemat and that was delicious. Oh, that was the nicest thing he had all day. And so he thought, oh, I might eat the table, which is made of wood. And then tomorrow night, we'll have to have dinner in front of the TV on, on our couch. Oh, the best time. And so he ate the table and it was delicious. He thought, oh no, because he thought that he might be a termite, yes. Troy might be a termite. So he, he ate the chairs, he ate the stairs, he ate the floor and he even ate the door. But when he went to eat the wall, he forgot about the ceiling and the ceiling did fall and it landed on his head. And now Troy, Troy is dead. So eat your veggies, kids, that's what I'm saying there. That's, you gotta eat your veggies. No? All right. Just, that was, it was just a made up song. It was a made up song. Oh, I'll, I'll pick it up later. I'll, I'll get Xavier to eat it after. All right, now. We've had lockdown. We've come out of lockdown. In lockdown, what I did with my family, we listened to lots of audiobooks. How many kids here like audiobooks and like listening to books? Awesome, yeah. Now, I got one I want to share with you. Now, this one is a bit crazy, and I don't know why they marketed it to kids. So here's, the, it's called, There Wasn't a Woman Who Swallowed a Fly. Do you know this one? Yeah. If you don't know it, we're going to go through it. So here we go. This is it. So, There was an old woman who swallowed a fly. I don't know why she swallowed a fly. Perhaps she'll die. A bit grim for a kid's story, I reckon. Perhaps she's going to die. Yes? No? Yeah. It, yeah, that, I know, and that's the first line. But wait for it, it gets even crazy. Here we go. She swallowed a spider to catch the fly. I don't know why she swallowed a fly. Perhaps she'll die. She swallowed a whole, like, you don't have to swallow the spider. The spider's not gonna catch the, the web catches the fly. Just swallow the web. This lady's crazy. Like, the spider's got eight arms, but no fingers, it can't catch a fly. This is crazy, all right. It gets, I know, but she's already done it. So what are we gonna do? Here we go, this is this one. She swallowed a bird to catch the spider that wriggled and jiggled and- She swallowed a whole bird, kids! Like, like beak and all, this is woman. Who's looking after this woman? This is crazy, it gets worse, wait for it. She swallowed a cat to catch the she bird. She swallowed a whole cat! Does the cat have a bell? If it has a bell, the bird's gonna hear it just fly away, hide behind the lady's kidneys. This crazy lady's not gonna do the right, anyway, it gets worse, here we go. She swallowed a dog to she catch the cat. She swallowed a dog! A whole dog! You can't swallow a whole dog! Like, you could probably swallow a small dog, yes, but that's not gonna catch a cat, is it? You need to swallow a big dog, like a German Shepherd or a Rottweiler. That's how you. But then anyway, it gets worse. Here we go. She swallowed a cow to she catch the dog to catch the cat. Exactly! It's not possible. And also, have you ever seen a cow catch a dog? No! Go to a farm. It's the dog that rounds up the cows, not the other way around. Someone should tell this woman, this is how you do it. All right, wait for it, wait for it. There was an old woman who swallowed a horse she to catch the cow. a horse! You can't swallow a horse, no! Especially not to catch a cow. Right, this is how you catch a cow, kids. You don't need to swallow a horse to catch a cow. What you should swallow is a farmer on a full motorbike. That's how you catch a cow, right, right. But you don't even need to catch a cow to catch a dog anyway, no. To catch a dog, what do you swallow? Everyone knows. A dog catcher, you swallow a dog catcher. Send them down there with their big pole, they can catch it, put it to the pound, someone can find their dog. But you don't even need to swallow a dog to catch the cat anyway. To to catch a cat, what you do is just put some glass of water and some milk out and it'll come and that's how you catch a cat. Like, 
We, we thought our cat was missing and then we just put some water out and she came out from underneath the car. And she was just getting some shade. No, no, you need a swallow. Like a cat to catch a bird. To catch a bird, what you do is swallow a net. And I'm thinking maybe someone told her, swallow a net to catch the... What do you catch the animal? Do you want to get it out of here? You don't want it, you want it to come out this way, not the other way. Trust me, that's, that's the wrong way. That is the wrong way for it to come out. No, you don't need to swallow the bird anyway to catch the, catch the spider. What you need to do to catch a spider is swallow a glass and a piece of paper. That's how you catch spiders. And then you can walk it outside, put it in the garden. You don't need to swallow. But the thing is, what you need to do if you swallow a fly is just brush your teeth and have a glass of water. You're going to be fine, okay? You're going to be fine. So You swallow flies lots of times? Don't put your mum into it. Is everything all right at home? She swallowed a cockroach? Oh, okay. But, all right, well, let's start the story again. Okay, there was an old lady who swallowed a fly. I don't know why she swallowed a fly, but she'll be fine. The end. Thank you. Good night. Josh Earl, everybody.